Okay, let me uh, let me walk through the uh, burner that I'm I'm working on for the Blacksmith Forge um, little side project that I got going. But uh, basically, here's how it works. It's based off a design called a Babington burner, which is basically uh, it's a really really simple simple concept. You can see a bunch of videos on YouTube. But uh, how it works? Pretty simple. You got the air feed comes through here from the compressor, the air compressor. Um, goes to the regulator, which is just 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 your pressure. Um, at at the burner, it's a little easier than at the compressor. And then um, got the end cap here, which got this, this you know screwed right here to tighten it down. But uh, it's to adjust the adjust the uh, nozzle inside the burner, and then you got the nozzle on the end, the air nozzle. And I just drilled um, the tip, uh, tip of that out with a, uh, it's countersunk, but it's a number 80 tiny bit in there. Um, I guess there's a 164th inch hole, I think, number 80. I'm not sure how to look it up. But um, I threaded the end too, so I can put different uh, configurations on there to experiment with. But we'll see how it goes. But anyway, this uh, that's it. That's the air. As the air passes through here, there's a, a stream of oil that drips in front, and um, the air flowing through atomizes the oil, shoots it that way, and uh, um, once atomized, it ignites the oil and burns. Um, it's supposed to burn pretty hot. Get up to a, uh, you know forge temperature up to 2,500 degrees. So, but um, here's another nozzle. This is actually the one they show in the videos. Uh, this can screw on here, but uh, but the uh, same size hole. But the idea is to run the oil over the the rounded curve, and as it passes around it, uh, the airflow pulls it out, and blows it into the uh, into the burner tube. But this goes on here. I'm just trying to do this one-handed. So it's all just a simple T, and then get the hole in the top where the. This is what I got so far for the uh, the feed. I don't know. I'm gonna reduce the end down, but. Um, and I've got a. I actually got another piece of screws on the tip of that that will kind of concentrate the oil in there. But and then through there you've got. You got a burn tube, so this will screw into the. Be sticking out of the forge. And blow in. I might actually reduce this down to inch and a half. I'll have to play with that, but see how it goes. That's it. It's pretty simple. Um, I don't know how many psi. I think uh, guys going like 60, 40 to 60 psi. I'm not sure. It seems kind of low to me, but I have to play with it. Um, once this gets warm too, the oil will flow a lot, a lot better. I don't think it needs to be preheated. I was thinking about putting a, a coil. Of copper, so the oil feeds through the coil and then goes into the uh, into the tube. So once the coil heats up, as it flows through it, flows either you get something to play with. I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna probably grab you to feed it, but uh, anyway, here's the uh, latest thing I picked up today. It's a uh, seven-gallon air tank. I found at the uh, Warwick Flea Market, West Warwick Flea Market, five bucks, which I was happy about because I was going to buy it at Harbor Freight for thirty, for a brand new one. But um, basically, I'm just going to cut the cut the ends off, turn them into doors, so I can open it up and clean it out. And I'm going to line it with some kind of refractory. Um, there's a bunch of stuff out there. I might, I might make my own. I, I don't know how I'm going to do it yet. But and then I got to have the air tube coming on the side. It'll kind of be offset off, off to the top. And kind of, <coughs> excuse me, makes a swirling motion in there, but apparently gets up to uh, above 2,000 degrees, so should be plenty hot enough. And then the doors, I'll have holes in the um, in the doors as well, um, and then one end will be able to be, will have a basically a hatch, or I don't know what the heck to call it, but so I can close one end off. But if I've got something that's long, I can be able to feed it through both ends, open up both both doors, and. Anyway, that's that, and that's about it.
But uh, once I fire it up, I'll uh, make sure to put that on video because that might be interesting. Talk to you guys later.